Hello, welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have the exclusive first seat watching Meghan and Harry with the perfect cringe moment. The epitome of secondhand embarrassment. Because for a pure coincidence, they found themselves at an NBA game and they were featuring the big screens in the middle. Absolutely not trying to upstage or copy William and Catherine. No, of course not. It's not like Megan is jealous of Catherine or anything. And that's why the pictures we've got look like your regular Zoom call with Harry. Because they were looking to keep their privacy or so it seems. Like this photo shared by Harry's gray suit on Twitter. You guys will like this one. The claw is out and H looks hammer. Now that's something that would look great for a Netflix series. Hammered Harry. In general terms, Megan's battle language was of extreme joy and happiness. I can tell you, there's nothing forced or anything. Nah, forget it. Who am I going to fool? This got more teeth than Shark Week. But the highlight of the night was this video, and I have to confess, I be feel bad for Harry, because he was literally denied a kiss when he leaned into Meghan, and they saw themselves on screen. Maybe that's why Meghan was smiling so much, it's because she was delighted of looking at herself on the big screen. Let's do a breakdown of that video so you can understand why this was the purest cringe you have seen since Meghan on the Ellen show. First, there's one detail that I should mention, and we have it thanks to Megan's mole on Twitter. Interesting, I see Megan's attorney, Rick Genoa, is with them. Megan is scheming, and Harry doesn't have a choice. And this is important so you can understand the first body language clue. The first thing I noticed right at the start of the video is that Megan looks like she is talking to whoever was to her right. Now we know it was her attorney. What I found silly is that Harry was doing exactly the same with the woman to his left. I'm sure you can see something odd here. You can imagine all the noise at that moment, so it makes sense that he had to lean, and I mean really lean so he could hear, hear what the woman was saying. But Megan instead is just talking casually to her attorney. Do you think he was really listening to her? Then this is the instant when they appear on the jumbotron, those giant screens in the middle of the curve. Okay, I can imagine why Megan is waving. She's waving as a princess, right? Because that's not something people usually do in these cases. And this is how I know that this was planned in advance, because as usual, Harry just doesn't know how to act. If this was spontaneous, you would have seen that instant when Harry sees himself and Megan on the screen and then recognizes himself. That is usually met with the brows that raise or the head that makes a quick movement, but there's something, anything that's going to happen. And it doesn't. In fact, his reaction is that his arm was itchy or something. So he was more nervous than surprised. That's how you know that he was not only expecting the moment, but also didn't know how to act. Now, here's come, here comes the cute part. Yeah, when Megan plays the part of the naive woman who feels, you know, a bit embarrassed of being on such a big screen, something that she was absolutely not expecting, and that's why she does that gesture of covering her mouth with her hand. Yes, you remember Megan doing that gesture, right? But Harry, well, poor Harry looked really invested in the moment. Like, he had just used his breath spray, was getting ready, time to shine gingerbread. And this is the first red flag. This is the moment that we all knew something bad was gonna happen. Because uh, Harry turned to Meghan, but she kept covering her face and pushed her face a bit backwards. That is a no, this is not gonna happen. And this is the moment of maximum cringe. Harry goes in for the kiss, but Meghan turns away from him and leaves her hand between them as a barrier, effectively blocking him from anything. Just to pretend that she was not blocking Harry, when she was absolutely blocking him, she puts her right hand on his arm, but not to bring him closer, but like a signal to stop. Picking the cringe moment is how Megan laughs. That's why I tell you that this was one of the worst secondhand embarrassments that I felt in a long time. After that, Harry has no other option but to bring his head back away from Megan and do his trademark silly face. 
I don't know about you. I don't like Harry. I have already said many times that he's responsible of many despicable things. But I want to make it clear that no man deserves this treatment in public. Uh, well, given that he has publicly thrown his whole family under the bus, uh, I'm going to allow it this time. I mean, I sincerely would like to know what the sewer squad is seeing that I'm missing because Megan's fans were claiming that they looked so adorable or loving and whatever, but it's so forced. You know that every now and then I cut Harry and Megan some slack and give them opportunities to redeem themselves. They can't fake happiness to save their lives. And that's why I want to mention this picture. This is one of the few times that I have seen Megan in what seems like a romantic gesture. She's leaning onto Harry. For this instance, she looks relaxed. Her fingers are not making the claw. But tell me, my royal rogues, what do you see in Harry? Better yet, before you answer, try to mimic Harry's posture. But be careful, I don't want you to sprain your neck. Because for all the romantic gesture of Meghan, Harry's body is in complete tension and his torso is leaning away from Meghan. That is not very romantic. And at the same time, I understand that Harry had trouble listening to her. Again, there would have been a lot of noise. But why did he have to twist his, his head like that? He is completely covering his neck with his chin, which is a rather defensive posture. Both men and women, when we are with our loved ones, we tend to relax our neck and display it to them because we feel safe with them since our necks are extremely sensitive and, of course, a sign of trust. And just to mention this, Megan's complete delight was on even when she was inside the car leaving the game. And to the surprise of exactly zero people, these pictures were taken by back grid, which are her speed dial paps of choice. Harry, on the other hand, is thinking about how everyone is going to talk the next day about the Megan Claw blocking his access to the Duchess of Sausage's lips. Now, some are criticizing her for not having her dress iron, but uh, I don't know, if you're sitting on those tiny chairs for some time, this is bound to happen. Also, it's bound to happen that she's going to be accused of trying to copy Catherine once again. I don't know. I would love to know what you think about this in the comments. And one final look at the happy couple with this video. I don't know if this was taken before or after the kiss blunder, but Harry's arm is a firm wall between himself and Meghan. Maybe he was returning the favor? Now, expect more and more of these casual appearances in the following days, because one thing is for sure, maybe Meghan decided to not attend the coronation for, well, reasons, but she's gonna make sure to spend all of Netflix royalties in buying every single shield willing to sell headlines for her. Not that I'm a psychic or something. And my royal rogues, you should be aware that the royal rogues official merch for King Charles' coronation is going to be available for just five days from now. Five days and they are gone, so make sure to get your shirt, hoodie, mock sticker using the link in the description before they are gone. My wonderful 107,000 royal rogues plus the 400,000 who haven't subscribed yet, I love you all. Remember to like this video and the two most important words, much love and bliss.